Hello everyone, this is Max, and welcome to another episode of Max Bytes. My mini podcast I do to educate, to encourage, and hopefully illuminate people. Thank you for joining me. So, this is becoming sort of an anthology series, these last few Max Bytes. If you notice, I've um, if you haven't listened to them already, go back and listen to my earlier episodes. Uh, they're all posted in a row here, chronological order. But the last several days, I would say almost the last week, there's been so many different events going on. And uh, so it's, I'm just going to keep following up and updating because it appears that everybody um, is being blessed out of this. So I, I hope I, and I appreciate uh, the positive feedback. Um, I'm going to actually hit three themes today uh, and there won't be in any particular order. But they are following up. And if you again, if you haven't listened to the earlier ones, go back and listen to them. If you've listened to them, go back and listen again to them. You may be able to, you know, pick out some further information from them. Anyway, the first thing I want to do and just get this out of the way is I just want to update my on my personal self, my what's going on with me personally. Uh, I know that I was gone for as many of you know, I was gone for most of July, and I returned last Wednesday. And uh, there was um, has been terrific, absolutely stunning. I've never seen this in all the years I've been online. And I have been doing this. Actually, I've been kind of doing this, you know, posting since November of 2015. And um, it just, I'm just overwhelmed by the positive response. I'm thousands of direct messages and emails and comments. I mean, if you put it all together, this has just been an unbelievable outpouring. So I really appreciate it. Even my staff have been in, inundated and we do apologize. Uh, we are getting, we are backlogged with emails and messages and we're processing them as quickly as we can. Um, be patient. I know a lot of you are signing up for Maximus Premium. And if you want to become a part of Maximus Premium, reach out directly to Roxy. Only Roxy is authorized. It's Roxy Balboa. And you can email her directly, Roxy Balboa, the number one at gmail.com. Direct message her on Telegram, Twitter, Truth Social. Uh, I'll have her handle and her email posted in the description below. You can become a member of Maximus Forever Premium. It's launching on September 1st. You can pre-register for that. And only she's signing people up for that. You can also message, you can also email me directly. And that's what I wanted to say. The only emails are Maximus, the number four, EVR, at protonmail.com, and Roxy Balboa, the number one, at gmail.com. Those are the only two authorized emails for my organization. Anyone else emailing you, claiming to be me, claiming to represent me, claiming to be Max, okay, uh, are not authorized by me and have no affiliation with me. So just unsubscribe and move on. Any questions, email me directly. Any, uh, you can direct message me correct, directly. Uh, I'll, you know, I'm, if you're in my rooms, you know what my handle is. You can DM me directly, et cetera, et cetera. But I would email me, just email me directly at Maximus Forever at protonmail.com. And, but I want to thank you all because it's really, really been great support. And if you want to support me, another way you can do it is through my PayPal and my Venmo. If you're watch, listening to this on U YouTube, it's located in the top right corner of my channel. You can click the links. I'll even include them in the description below. And I would appreciate it. All your support has been amazing. Absolutely amazing. So following up on the events of yesterday, it's been kind of crazy, I know. Uh, I'm, I already talked a lot about the disqualification process and who can disqualify a person from running for office. And I went through the Constitution yesterday's and yesterday's Max Bites. So I know there's been some confusion regarding the United States Code and this, this raid. Apparently, at first, everybody thought, like I did, that the raid had something to do with January 6th, which isn't going so good for Democrats. So then we find out that it's really about some um, archives documents that the that President Trump purportedly took with him and he shouldn't have. And so they, the FBI, a bunch of agents, descended upon Mar a Largo and basically searched his toilet. And they came up with nothing. I was going to use a word, but I'm not going to say it because I know a lot of kids listen to my podcast. But you can insert the blank there. They came up with just 
you know. Okay. So anyway, um, I wanted to clarify something, and I'm just going to not, not clarify, but reemphasize this. Only Congress can disqualify anyone from running for president. Okay, only Congress can do that. The debate on whether it's a supermajority or it a two-thirds majority, or they can do it with a simple majority, notwithstanding. It's still only Congress. It doesn't matter if the person's been convicted in federal court for any crime. As I said to someone this morning in Maximus Unchained, my one of my major uh, chat rooms, um, a convicted murderer on death row can run for president. Okay, there there is plenty of precedent for that. For instance, I'll tell you, there was a man by the name of Lyndon LaRouche who was convicted in 1988 of tax and mail fraud conspiracy, and he ran for president multiple times between 1976 and 2004. He was first ran as part of the Labor Party and later as a Democrat, believe it or not. Because the fact is this, that only the only qualifications to run for president are found in Article 2 of the U.S. Constitution. You have to be living in the states for uh, stateside for 14 years. You have to have been a natural-born citizen of the United States, and you have to be 35 years of age. That's it. No obscure congressional act can add to that. So citing, I know some podcasters are, reg- and, and in some chat rooms, they're regurgitating this whole U.S. code thing. Oh my goodness, if they get these historical documents, yada, yada, and because that, that lawyer, I, 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 I don't even want to mention his name. He's such an idiot. But he's going around saying, yes, this is going to be enough to disqualify him. Actually, no, it's not. You can't bar a president for murder. In other words, you can't bar a person for mur- from running for president who's even been a murderer. They can run from office. They can run for office from the jail cell. People don't understand that. They don't believe that. And I'm going, Hello? I mean, for instance, I'll give you an example. I mean, this, this is one that probably many people know. But in 1798, and this goes for every office, the only qualifications for running for U.S. Senate or U.S. House are found in Article 1. And you can't add to those. Uh, in, eight, in 1798, Representative Matthew Lyon ran for Congress from prison, and he won. He only assumed his seat after serving four months for in prison, for libeling President Adams. Then, of course, the Senate tried, or the sorry, the House tried to expel him, and they failed. You see what I'm saying to you? President Trump could be in prison. He could run for office. Now, I'm not saying that's going to happen, by the way. Uh, I don't think any of this really matters. As a matter of fact, just this morning, uh, my mother said to me, If he said he wasn't going to run, all of this would just evaporate. I went, yeah, I agreed. She was telling me that. She wasn't asking me that, by the way. I always listen to my mom. By the way, for all you kids out there right now listening, make sure you listen to your parents. Because if you're not listening to your parents, you're not going to get too far in life. Just a little little moral, moral message there from Max. But be that as it may, the thing is, Only Congress now, under the 14th Amendment, Section 3 and Section 5, can disqualify someone for running for office. But then there's this debate I mentioned yesterday about the Amnesty Act and whether that applies. And I mentioned to you, Cathorn and and MTG, where they tried to get them off the ballot based on the 14th Amendment, and that failed. Federal judge threw that out. So whether, if I mean, hey, Equal protection under the laws, according to the 14th Amendment. And the fact is that you can't say these people have a right to run for political office, whether it's LaRouche, whether it was Representative Lyon back in in 1798, whether it was a Cathorn, and uh, I hope I'm I hope I'm spelling his uh, pronouncing his name correctly, or uh, Representative Green, Marjorie Green. If they all have a right to run for various accusations, whether it was uh, actually a criminal indictment and they were serving time, or in the case of our two representatives recently, just for political motivations, if they have a right to be on a ballot and running for office, President Trump does. It doesn't matter what he's done 
or hasn't done. I mean, it really doesn't matter. Now, if Congress decides under the 14th Amendment that he's disqualified, that's a different story. And I discussed that yesterday. So go back and listen to my very popular Max Bites from yesterday and about the disqualification, the Mar-a-Lago raid and all of that. And I discuss it in more detail. But I just want to tell you right now, nothing's going to stop him from running for president. So relax. Okay, just relax. It's cool. Finally, I want to say to everybody, everything is working out fine. We have had a year this year of winning. It actually started late last year with the collapse of the Democratic machine, with the fact that they couldn't get anything through Congress. I mean, think about it. D.C. statehood. Remember that pipe dream? Remember, um, it was the D.C. statehood. Uh, they wanted to raise the minimum wage. That was like the beginning of last summer. That was last spring, spring of, uh, of 2021. Remember all of the mandates to get injections? <laughs> we were all going crazy. Everybody was going crazy, and a lot of people lost their jobs, sadly, but we won all those cases. Remember the fear coming into this year that we were going to, the Supreme Court was not going to rule for, our guns were going to get confiscated and all this other kind of stuff, and look what happened there. And of course, the big one, abortion, Roe v. Wade being overturned, and Casey, which to me is the most important decision and event in politics in the last two years, and last probably the last, actually my whole life. I mean, you're talking about infanticide being thrown out at the federal level. That blight on American society. That great evil in this country. So, and I know, I mean, there's been plenty of other victories. I know everyone got upset because of the mini BBB. I always said something was going to pass. I mean, I pointed that out. They had to do something to pay people off because they're all going to be out of power on January 3rd. I say January 3rd because that's when the new Congress is sworn in. I have really, I don't, I don't understand these, these one or two bad things happen, quote unquote, bad things happen. And, and, and fear mongers out there on our side, just start talking about it. Like it's the end of the world and everybody gets upset. And then they start messaging me, Max, you know, tell me something good. Okay. Christ died and ra raised from the dead, rose from the dead. And now he's in heaven on the right hand of the father. <laughs> I mean, there's the good news. You know, put your trust in the Lord, not a man. Grab a hold of your Bible and hold on to it. Read it. Don't just hold on to it. Go actually in and read it and study it. And there you'll find great peace. Anyways, I wanted to just say, just finish on this. Be calm. Go and have some fun with your family. Enjoy the evening. Enjoy the day. If you're listening to this in the morning, be of good spirits because what's going to happen in November is going to be a red earthquake like you've never seen before. And nothing's going to change that. If you want to, I want to, so if you want to hear more and you want to become a, a member of Maximus Premium, contact um, Roxy and ask her to sign you up and pre-register for it because you're going to absolutely love it. In Maximus Premium, we're going to be talking politics all up 24 seven. Well, not exactly 24 seven, but the point is this though, you'll be, you'll have access to an exclusive chat room and an exclusive channel where I'll be posting regular updates to all, you know, on, which is going to be heavy detail oriented updates on a variety of topics, not just the elections, but other things too. I'll also be answering any questions posted in the room um, on a regular basis. And of course there'll be other perks. Uh, you'll be getting access to, uh, eventually, I'll be launching an exclusive full-length podcast there where I'll be doing a lot more discussions with even people. I'll even have guests on it. And as well, uh, you'll be getting discounts on my seminars. And on that note, I'll say my next seminar is Outlaws, the Illustrated Life and Times of the Gunfighter. And let me tell you, that is my favorite seminar. August 25th to the 27th, I want you to sign up for that. You can email me directly about it. You can email Roxy about it. You can talk to the angels and the warriors about it. Uh, my assistants, those are all my assistants. 
sign up for Outlaws, you'll absolutely love it. And if you sign up for, if you pre-register for Maximus Premium, you get a discount on Outlaws. And, and a lot of you have already taken advantage of that. So I, I think that's pretty cool. I, mean, I would do that. And you'll enjoy it because we're going to spend three days talking about the obscure and the well-known gunfighters. And we're going to take it from their perspective and how these anti-heroes, is what they really were, were rebelling against society. It's actually kind of timely. And we're going to be highlighting different people and events over three days. This is actually one of my longest seminars. It'll go for about 10 hours, 10, 11 hours, sometimes 12. Depends on 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 the crew on the uh, on the number of people attending. So and the questions that keep coming up. And it is a Socratic discussion, so everybody's welcome to engage with me and ask me all their questions on their mind. So it'd be kind of fun. Anyways, hope to see you there. Again, if you want to support me, PayPal, Venmo, the links are in the description below. Do subscribe to my channel and share it. Share it. You know, you hear this from all the channel, a lot of channels. I don't do this a lot, but share the video. Put it anywhere. Share it. Share the links. Whatever. Um, that's the way people find out about me. So I appreciate it. And uh, anyways, have a wonderful night. God bless. Love yous. And I'll be talking to you again soon. Ciao.